sai bibi yangu kwa hospitali sai anainua mikono juu e, hata simu naona na sikoro hii simu nilikuja nikamwashia tukwe tunaongea na yeye akihitaji kitu kwa nyumba ananipiga anambia nikuje na kitu fulani Shukuru sana watu watuko mwenye walinikuja kwa kwa kanivanyia sasa hii bibi yangu yuko kwa hospitali na nafurahia sana kwa sababu hata mikono yake unaona sasa hii ananisalimia vizuri hata simu anaweza shika vizuri kwa hivyo mimi nashukuru Mungu na nikashukuru wa Kenya venye walinifanyia na nikaambia Mungu awabariki na endele kuwatendea mema na akuwe na hiyo moyo wa kusaidiana mm -hmm. kwa sababu mimi nilifika mwisho mm -hmm. na sasa hii bibi yangu yuko hospitali sasa hii anainua mikono juu e, hata simu naona na sikoro hii simu nilikuja nikamwashia tukwe tunaongea na yeye mm -hmm. akihitaji kitu kwa nyumba ananipiga anambia nikuje na kitu fulani mm -hmm. kwa hivyo mimi nawashukuru sana na nikashukuru kwanza watu watuko mm -hmm. nikashukuru kile wa Kenya mm -hmm. Na kwa hiyo yote Mungu kwanza first ndio naweza shukuru sana kwa sababu ndio alifanya hiyo jambo lote. Kuko na watu wameamua atalipia watoto wangu fees hata chakula waletea juu nimefurahia sana kwa sababu niliona nilikuwa navua nguo lakini uko na mtu anampiga simu ananiambia nikose kuvua nguo ataniekea biashara na mimi nikashukuru zuri kasema Mungu aonekanie naendea kuwatendea mema uko na mtu alikuja akanimpigia simu akaniambia atani pesa niweke biashara uko na mwingine alikuwa anasema atanaweza jitolea na nibaiye tukutuku lakini nikafurahia sana na kuko na kasi ingine nilipata kujenga pale toro hata hiyo na shukuru sana na nseme mungu wa mbaliki sana My name is Sarah Mohoya, I work for the Eco Network Africa, formerly Kenya Women Holding I first heard this story on Inoro Radio and then I watched it on Tuko and this is not one of the stories you could just turn your ears or eyes away from and so we looked for the writers so we got hold of Lynn who had uh, done the story on Tuko and Moses who had done the story on Inoro and we felt surely somebody had to do something about it and I decided I'm going to do my little bit of it. I knew of my friend Dr. Catherine Wabua who runs uh, the Restore Rehabilitation Center here in Karen and I decided let me just get out of Catherine, she was away at the time and we negotiated a very very discounted rate for this facility. So by the time we were going to get uh, Rosaline, we had already been given almost 75% discount at the hospital and I knew that somehow we would go around it. Ambari and Daktari. Mimi niko sawa sawa na wewe mzee. Hata mimi niko sawa. Nimeshukuru sana ni venye tu naona Rosaline venye anaendelea kwa hiyo si yako. Mm. Nasema ni asante na Mungu akubariki sana. Amen. Tuna, tuna shukuru lakini ile ile kitu ile kubwa ni ile bidii anaweka. Ya. Yeah. Sababu ajua akiweka bidii sasa anaendelea mzuri. Kweli. Daktari mwenye amemkujia anatulipia 100 lakini mimi nikaambia hiyo ingine ni mimi nitalipa na ninalipa 1350 kupande. Kwa hivyo hakika hiyo miezi 5 100k. Yeah. Kwa hivyo ile kidogo unapokea kwa wakenya utaitumia vizuri. Nitaitumia vizuri okay. kulipia bibi yangu hosi uh -huh. na kulisha watoto uh -huh. na kualipia fees. Tangu jana ndio hmm. nimejaribu kushika mso wake na pika mso wake na siku anavanya chochote. Usiku nilishika simu nikaanza kupika siku anashika simu. Ukaashika mwenyewe? Eh na nikapika nikaanza kuscroll kujaribu kutumia mikono bila yes. kusaidiwa na mtu yeye si kusaidiwa na mtu yoyote hata nani hata ni nilikuwa ukweli hata nilikuwa nayo tu kwa kitanda thank you ni hata na furai eh ya masasi hapa imenisaidia kabisa chakula nimejidisha by the time she's done a month we can only expect uh, Rosaline to work so in about the doctor Catherine tells me that in about 5 6 months she should be able to gain most of her motor skills Hii mkono mm. nataka uende kutoka hapa mm. okay tupeleke na juu hivyo good kwa hii safari niko na watu wawili wametebea na mimi hebu pita kujeni hapa <laughs> ah kuta, kuta. 
huyu ndiye anaitwa Pita ndio tumesaidiana na yeye sana na huyu anaitwa Paulini wamenimishika wame, wame mkono sana kwa hivyo ni watu siwezi waasha kwanza unaona huyu huyu tulikuwa akienda wakati nilikuwa na mvua nguo nikia akienda akipata kasi hata kama nikakuweka stima hivi kwa sababu yeye anasomea stima alikuwa ananipatia tukienda tunalipo 500 anakuja aniambia baba shiru kwa sababu hii tumeenda na wewe anagaana cha mara mbili ananipea ya 250 na ya 250 juu tunaona ya kukula kwa gu. Huyu na yeye Pauline alikuwa na okay, alinipata kwa hiyo kwa kwa blot yetu nimekaa akanisalimia na nikampeka store kagu akaniambia atakuja kusalimia my wife. Wakati waliingia kwa nyumba kaona venye mama Shiro wako ndio alianza kulia na akaniambia Mungu tu atanisaidia. Mi alitoka akaenda kwake kwa nyumba akaniletea unga mbili na akaniletea pesa ya kujasa gas kwa sababu sikukuwa nayo. Na mjai mjuani mtatoka kwa family mo. Atujuani na kuambia mtu wa mjuani ndiye anaweza kusaidia kuliko wenye mnasajuana. Kwa sababu unaona anajitolea na kuja atakuosha bibi yangu. Na ni mtu wa tujuani na yeye. Kwa hivyo huyu ni mtu anakuja tumetembea na yeye safari yetu. Kwa hivyo kwa hiyo kufikia hapa tumeona mkono wa Mungu. Bibi yangu sasa hii namuona. Sasa hii hata tukikuja na watoto anafurahia sana ni kuona mama yao venye yako. Na mko smart. Eh sana ni Mungu tu. Ni Mungu tu. Kwa sababu wengine mambo yote ukiweka kwa Mungu, Mungu anakujanga tu na kuinua. Ninakwambia Mungu akikuwekea fefa yake hakuna hata shetani hasi igilia mali. Ana hasi pata jia kuigilia. Nimeona watoto wangu tu wako sawa. Hata siku tarajia vile ndivyo watakunja wakiwa. Nilikuwa nafikiria tu atakunja wakiwa kama machokora kama nini ndio siko karibu na wao lakini nimeona hata kama siko karibu na watoto kuna wenye wana wako karibu na wao ni kama mama yao sasa nimesikia hata sina stress za watoto sina hata sifikiri mambo ya nyumbani sasa hivi niko sawa and the overwhelming support towards Gideon and his family does not stop there Jane Wamboi Kingangi who is the principal of Maranjau Mixed School and owner of St Peter's Junior School in Gathage Gatundu South also promised to sponsor Gideon second born from January at her school offer Gideon a job at the same school and give him and his family a two bedroom house I would just like to thank the Tuko team it's an amazing team I think it's a wake up call for all of us in this country. Social media is not gutter press. I think this is one story that probably just deserves a huge award. I want to say a big thank you to Edwin and uh, Lynn and the team at Tuko. Keep up the good work. I am sold to Tuko. Ini bibi yangu. Eh. Na unisema utamwacha. Sitamwacha milele. Tutakuwa yeye na yeye. Eh. Eh. Eh.